What's up everyone, this is the Raving Roman coming at you with another video. As we all know, Digital Extremes appears to be going full steam ahead to creating open worlds, so I want to start fantasizing about what kind of open worlds await for us. Um, starting with Venus, according to the lore, it is a snow planet of some kind and belongs to the Corpus in majority. I'm wondering if we're going to get a snowy winter type of city um, of some kind, I'm not sure. And with the introduction of vehicles, I am hoping that we're going to get one heck of a playground. But I'll get back to that one later. A few things to note. In the last dev stream, it was mentioned that we will be needing a map for the next open landscape. Now, I don't know if that will be because it will be a dense city, or if the uh, landscape will be much bigger than the Plains of Eidolon. However, I believe Steve said he wanted to call it an open world, so I am inclined to believe the latter. Nothing has been mentioned thus far on what the Venusian landscape will be, so I want to provide my speculations. Aside from being snowy due to the lore mentioning about terraforming by the Oricon, uh, there are two thoughts that come to my mind. First one is that I'm expecting some kind of mountain excavation setting where there are bases littered about the sides or the bottom of the mountains. It would open our eyes to a little more to some of the different means of income that each individual of the corpus uh, needs to earn for their family or for their own survival. The second one is the corpus civilization um, or a city of some kind. As a faction of profit, we would get to see the type of economy and society that the Corpus thrive in. If the Grenier Queens operate in some kind of military matriarchy, how do the Corpus executives run their capitalist nature of government? Um, what is the life like for the average member of the Corpus? Now for the next bit, and the one I really enjoy, uh, vehicles last dev stream there was an incredible demonstration by Rebecca where we get to pilot one of the Grenier vehicles. I find this incredible because this creates a lot more possibilities in the future that uh, being vehicle only objectives or more enemy types that use pr transportation and we can probably just steal them for fun or extended travel purposes. While we do have Arcwing, it isn't always very stable when it comes to navigation. Different vehicles can fulfill different purposes, um, those categories being speed, armor, firepower, or uh, specific terrain navigations. Personally though, I really love a void power motorcycle, you know, um, for when capture missions turn into high speed ch chases. Think about that. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, please consider leaving a like, share, or subscribe. If there is anything you'd like to talk about, let me know as well. This is the Raving Roman, signing out. Until next time, rock on, Tenno.